I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Father God in heaven, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified. Once again, we are here to obtain revelation from you, to grow even further, dear Father, uh, into uh, an intimate relationship with you. And we know that that doesn't happen uh, unless we are, are in tune and we believe in your son, Jesus, who you, who you sacrificed, who, who he voluntarily uh, gave of his life so that we could have this relationship with you. Father, you, uh, you hate sin, yeah. and, and, and we are yeah. sinners. And, and the only way that we can have that relationship and, and, and be once again adopted into your family uh, is to believe in your son, Jesus Christ, who took our sin upon himself. Well, he lived, he suffered for us in our places, and he died. And because of his glorious nature and, and obeying you, dear Father, he... He, he, you raised him from the dead Yes. as proof of, of your truth. And he is the living gospel, the living word. And we just thank you, dear Father, that through him, we receive these revelations, not just this day, but for all the other days that you give us. Yes. And so that we can take this and, and, and spread it among all those who, to whom we come in contact with. Yes. But even when we're alone, dear, though, dear, dear, dear Father, Mm. Uh, we give you the glory. Let us, be, let us learn to do that as well. Yes. So we know that all the moments that we have really belong <laughs> to you. And that we should obey you at all times, dear Father. Yes. So thank you for, for these revelations. Thank you for this conversation this morning. And however it all comes out, dear Lord, let yeah. people who hear this understand that this is, is so that we can all uh, treat each other yes. in the way that we should be treating one another with love, with compassion, with mercy, with I kindness, with gentleness, and be humble toward one another. Yes. And we know that the, 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 the nature of man and the sin that is out there will come against uh, this effort. Yes. So we, will, we put our faith in you. The substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen. We put our faith in you, dear Father. And we know that that faith comes through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. belief in him Hallelujah. and our strength. It come, through our weaknesses, dear Jesus, Amen. we know that we become stronger. Yes. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being in us. We thank you for this, this blessed moment. We say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 So, so amen. What, I'm, what I'm doing is I will cover uh, the first two scriptures so I can get to the part where Jesus actually was the same as we see experiencing the day of people arresting Jesus. But what I want to know is Christianity is not a, a what you call it, uh, what do you say? It's not, a, it's not a soft religion. It's not, it's not, it's not a belief. Passive, yeah. Right. It's not, it's not something that we're passive. We're not a passive religion. We're, 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 we're not even religion. We're a way of life. And you got to remember that Jesus, he confronted and he even demonstrated in John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only begotten son. Right? His own begotten in other words, he, he, he laid down his life, he, but he said, I can take it back up again. He, he, he confronted the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the lawyers, the people that tried to tempt him. He was pushed on a, you know, they one time out they took him to a cliff in his own hometown or one of the towns and they're going to throw him off the cliff. He just walked yeah. through it. He said, uh-uh, no, no. It's only when the hour is ready. Yeah. He said when the hour, and I guess sometimes we might be understand that yeah. when your hour is there, when they, God is saying, this is the hour the enemy may have for you. Because the Bible says every man has a point in time to die anyway. It may be that you may run into that. Mm -hmm. They say, I want you to go boldly into it. He said, because Christianity is not a runaway religion. You know what I mean? It's not, I'm not mm -hmm. running away from you. And I'm not even cowering from you. I'm standing. Even Philip, mm -hmm. what was Philip? Was it Philip? I guess. No, Stephen. Stephen got stoned. Stephen was stoned. Stephen was, Stephen was, Stephen confronted those people. He went mm -hmm. over the scriptures 
And you draw the end, he sit there and say, you betrayed, you the one that killed him. I mean, he was not afraid to speak. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. what I want to do is let people know as a believer, you this is not a passive faith. This is not a militant faith either. This is a faith that stands up and speak the word of God with confidence. And what I want to be able to show some of these scriptures is he taught, remember it's in here, but one of the scriptures is when they came to him, they wanted to arrest him and they left and they went to back to the Sadducees and he said, where is he? He said, ain't nobody talked like that before. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, you you go get him because he ain't, ain't nobody ever talk like that. That man talk with authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. There is an ideology that was propagated that he did not uh, he did not shrink from. Exactly. He spoke, spoke the truth in in every situation, every circumstance. He spoke the truth, yeah. but it was not to the detriment of the people that he dealt with, except they didn't receive it. Yeah. But it was for the edification, for the uplifting. It, it, yeah. While we was, while Brother Jackson was praying, it came to my mind that Jesus loved the corrupted cop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that he literally died for that cop. Yeah. The, the yeah. cop that maliciously does something in the street is still a soul that the Lord Jesus Christ died to save. Exactly. He died for the world. It, and it, at any given point, that person can repent. Yes. Of their sin and say we've seen examples of it even in David and the rest of the crew. Yes. The guys that even Paul, Paul who was a murderer, I mean the, the guy was a persecutor of Christians, but he repented and God hopefully saved his soul. Uh so everybody that we see, we have to look at it as a potential, what can we what do you call them? A well, witness or, 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 right. or it's, it's a harvest, right? It's a harvest. Or, a potential comfort, even when they're acting like that. Yeah, as a part of the harvest. And we go into these conflicts. Wow. We have to teach our children to how to encounter. Lord help us. Thank and you. We, and the Bible said to just to live by faith daily, right? And one of the Amen, things we started off in January was that we may know him and the power of his resurrection Amen, and the fellowship of his of his death, right? We, yeah. we to, you know, but, but we got to understand that that power is what we really was focusing on is that when you walk under the anointing, the anointing is the power, all right? That's why you call Christ-like. Christ means anointed one. We are Christ-like. That's what it came, Christians mean Christ-like. You, you're not walking on a weakness, you're walking on the power, right? So the first scriptures got here, and Brother Jack, you can go ahead and take that on for us. Uh, Isaiah 10, 27. Amen. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Amen. Amen. Now, see, what I want you to understand is the anointing, and we actually use the, uh, uh, from, from some of the studies and also back in World Change, it said the anointing is power removing, burden removing, power removing, Yoke destroying power of God. In other words, it, it, it's his power. It removes, most of us have burdens, not just us, talking to people that are going to listen to these videos, is that there's burdens that we have in life, right? And there's things mm -hmm. we're going to be struggling with. And what we, this scripture is saying is that the anointing, these yokes that we have, these burdens that we have, Elder Johnson, it could be destroyed by the, the anointing, right? That's what the power, the anointing, that rock that David slung in that head into, into Goliath was because it was anointed to go through and sink into that man's skull. The, we got to understand that. Then we got to understand in Isaiah, and I'll read this, Isaiah 60, this is one of my favorite scriptures, that the fact is the future glory of Israel, but it's also the future glory of the church, is, is when the Holy Spirit rests on you. And it says right here, what? Arise, a shine, for the light has come, right? We're supposed to be the light of the world because Christ is the light. And we're supposed to be light, right? And the yes. glory of the Lord has risen upon you. See, he's talking about Jesus now. He's talking about the nation of Israel. He's talking about the, the those who come to their covenant, right? Yeah. The, the Lord, he said, the Lord has risen upon thee. 
and that happened the day of Pentecost for us. But behold, darkness shall cover the earth. We know darkness is in this world, right? If there's any question about darkness yeah. in the world, it's there to cover the earth and gross darkness to people. Now we're talking about people that are going to shoot you in the back, shoot you, I mean, lynch you and all that other stuff. Gross darkness to people. But the Lord shall rise upon Elder Johnson. Hallelujah. Ella, Brother Jackson, Amen. Brother Addison, Jimmy, Amen. All of, it shall rise upon you and the glory shall be seen upon you. And the Gentiles, that means they're not in the covenant, the Gentiles shall come to thy light. The kings to the brightness of thy rising. Now we're talking about people in authority, right? Yes. Yes. Lift up thy eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from afar and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and the flow together and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea, meaning the multitude of people, shall be converted. Elder Johnson, that's your street ministry, right? Shall be converted, what? Unto thee. The force of the Gentiles shall come, Brother Jackson, to you. Huh? To the church. Amen. That's our job, is that the Amen. anointing is to convert people to the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. And in the day of Pentecost is when Amen. that happened. That's what we need to understand. We walk in power. That power is the anointing. And we're supposed to go preach that gospel with the anointing of Christ. And what in other scripture we may not get to is we talked about in Mark 16. They will go and preach the gospel everywhere, right? Brother, uh, Brother Asa, they go forth. They preach everywhere. And the Lord, what? Working with them. And confirming the, the word with sign. Come on Amen. now. Because he's gonna go, he's Amen. gonna focus on the the our job is to go preach that word, preach that gospel. Now, let me see. That did, did I have another one before that? Okay. Now, Brother Addison, you you the first one uh on this one is uh here's an officer sent to arrest Jesus. Just like people have been just like uh the kids or black men pulled over, or even white men being pulled over. Uh, they that Jesus was also subject to be arrested, harassed, right? Because that's sometimes we call it being harassed, right? So, so I want you to know that anybody that listens to this video, you're young, you, you want to know that you got first. I want to make sure you understand you got the power not resting on you if you're in Christ. And that you're in good company. If you do get somebody want to try to arrest you, you are in good company. Meaning Jesus was also uh, when he tried to arrest him. Go ahead, Brother Addison. Okay, John 7, 32. The Pharisees heard that people murmured such things concerning him. And the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while am I with you. And then I go on to, to, that, to him that sent me. Ye shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dis dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this that he said? Ye shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. This man, right? Now I'm just saying this. I want to first demonstrate that Christ, when you're doing the will of God, Elder Johnson, Sometimes it doesn't matter what people want to do. It doesn't matter what somebody told to come arrest you. It doesn't matter what somebody want to try to profile you and try to arrest you. Um, when you're walking under the power and anointing of God, and if, if you're still doing what he wants you to do, and you got something that he wants you to do, 
There's not a force in this world can stop Amen. you from doing the will of God. Amen. That's why I want to make sure you understand that. Yeah. Jesus said, basically, that one scripture I wanted, I don't know if I got it in this one, he just said, my hour ain't yet, it come yet. Uh, until, until that hour come, to the hour that the devil has, it, it ain't come yet. I got work to do. And I'm going to do my work until it's time. Right? He knew he had to do work. He knew he had to go to the cross, but he came on his time. Come on, y'all. It didn't come on, it didn't come on the world's time. It came on mm -hmm. his time, I mean God's time. Get it with cowards, right, mm -hmm. Brother Addison? It was the divine time is when it was time for them to take him and arrest him. All right? Amen. I want to throw another one, then we could go ahead and for a discussion. Uh this next one. I think uh Brother Jackson. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think you've been good. Well, no, let's put Elder Johnson. No, no, let's go to Elder Johnson. Let's put Elder Johnson on this one. I think Elder Johnson will like this Amen. one. Two slides. Two slides, Elder. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook keeping, where was a garden into the which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft time resorted there, thither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh thither and with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. <laughs> and Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backwards and fell to the ground. <laughs> You know, before you go on, go ahead, go ahead. I never pictured Judas falling backwards, but he, it, it said he was with them. He was with them, yeah. So he was in the midst of them. Come on, and man. So he fell backwards as well. Come on, come on. That never, that never caught my eye until just then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they can't, they, look, look, they had weapons, yep. they, 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 they had a group of people. I mean, in other words, they, they came in. He, he Jesus says, like, what y'all come at me like like I'm a band of thieves or something? What, what, what's up with y'all? But the bottom line is, he, despite what the enemy has, brother Chris, look, Chris, I was talking, said, when is time we're gonna be able to put that old Jedi on these people? When are we gonna get to more <laughs> be able to tell people, hey, uh, it's not right. Because I'm really, uh, Chris, that, that first one with Jesus, they tried to arrest him. That was almost like that Jedi thing. Uh, uh, I, I, I got to go. You know, it's not time yet. Go. It's just, it's <laughs> these are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for some other droids. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to kind of chime in on what Byron's just saying. You know, think about it when they went backwards like that. To me, it's also, um, and, and I, sometimes I don't have the right words, fellas, but it's like an, a signal yeah. as to who was speaking. Right. Now, you know, because we, when we say Jesus of Nazareth, and we got to understand that this is man. Yeah. the creator himself in the flesh, yeah. putting him, putting, uh, you, you, you're basically getting ready to volunteer up. Yes. And so it wasn't, you know, when they went backwards, Come on, it man. certainly wasn't so that he could, Jesus could boast about who he was, uh -uh. but he was, he, this is an indicator. <laughs> I am, I am the creator of the heavens and the universe, the alpha, the, the alpha and the omega. I am the one you are looking for. And that statement was so powerful Come on, that they, they had to fall back. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we all know that he could have done anything he wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> but, but 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 when but when he said you know more or less hey I I am that I am I am he that you seek come on now that was the response <laughs> this was creation <laughs> this was nature you know, responding to to what he just said you know come on, now. Come on. but you know something brother ja brother Jackson in reference to that he's still that person yes he is our God 
Our yeah. God is yeah. God, and yeah. we are His sons. Come on. And and and, and, that, and that is the 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 mindset or the the what's his name would say reckoning. That's the reckoning yourself such and such. We are the sons of the living God. Speak it, brother. But can can he not do? And, and, and that that and that that is that's a place where really you've got to get used to that. Yeah. The reality of it has always been that way. Who who what can God not do to and through and for us? Come on, he it, it's, 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 it's an issue of alignment. And and and, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not even used to that. I'm not used to I'll talk like yeah, you got that down. No, I don't. Sometimes <laughs> some other stuff will jump in and you forget who you are. I'm like, man, like. You know, dealing with the eye thing that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took a minute for me to remember who I was. You understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, or who I am. Come on. And still trying to get used to that. Exactly. That, 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 that renewing of mind really encompasses us remembering who we, who are. we are. Yes. And who, I mean, we are the sons of God. We are not. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Man, that's that, 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 that's that's overwhelming sometimes. It's like, are you serious? Yes, yeah. this is who we are. We're not Amen. passive. We're not always. We're not rollovers. We stand. We stand under the will of the power and the anointing of God Almighty. You do walk in the secret place of the Most High. You do stand and do His will. His will be done. That's what you're supposed to do every day. On the fact, on even the, the prayer, Thy will be done. And if he told you, to go to your, if he tells you to go to that promotion board, if he tells you whatever he tells you to do, just understand this too, he gets Amen. the glory. Amen, man. That goes Amen. back to that, brother Asa, that goes back to that Mark chapter 16 in that last part. They go everywhere preaching the gospel. You live by faith and understand is the Lord working with you is the Lord performing the signs? All you got to do is go. You know, it it uh, it's just bringing so many things into my mind. Um, I do know that we we talked about this last time we were together. That we allow Jesus to speak. We yeah. step back and allow the Spirit. To Come speak on, for us Come on. in uh, situations, especially when there is confrontation. You know, uh, we do not want to be operating out of the flesh when there is a confrontation. We want to be in the spirit. Right. Uh, first of all, second of all, when in the scriptures, when Jesus said, I am he, I am he. he said, I am. Uh huh. <laughs> I am. And um, it brings back another time where God said, I am. Uh -huh. Tell yeah. him, I am sent you. Come on now. <laughs> am, and so he said, I am he. And then that authority uh -huh. knocked these folks back. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and uh, it's just, it just brings to bear how he allowed God to work for him. All he did was just Come on. do what his father said. So he spoke, he said, I say what my father tells me. Come on. Come on. So, and naturally, that's where, where we need to fall back to. And um, that, that, that is our, our ministry. And then bringing this back to, to, to the video that you shared, you know, it's there. There is a way that we were brought up at a time, uh -huh. whether you wanted to go to church or not, you were in church on Sunday. Well, well. Now I'm not saying that that you were you were taught correct or or you you know you were given uh, biblical principles that you could understand when you were coming up or anything like that, but you did learn how to reverence. Yes. God. Amen, man. And you yeah. did know there was a God. Well, and you did hear the stories, the great stories of, of our brothers of old and how and how they they were uh in situations and circumstances, you know, like like uh 
like Abraham and, and uh, Daniel, you know, these, these common stories, you know, and, and Goliath, you know, all, all these, you know, David and Goliath, uh, just the, the, the common stories that I can recall. Exactly. In, 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 in Sunday school, you know, as a little kid. And it was almost like hearing and reading a comic book. Come they were on. like superhero, Come you on. know, in my mind. And yeah. so I had a a reverence and, and I always understood that there was there was power and authority with being a Christian, that there was something different. Yes, and something even different. the the elders in the church, you know, how they were they carried themselves, you know, and, yeah. and how they spoke. Now I, I wasn't with them all the time, well, you know, outside of the, the church, but I do know when I did come across them that reverence Come on. for them was there Come and on. you could see, you know, that there was something different about these folks than Come on everybody else that I would run into yes, sir. out in the street. Yes, so sir. They're, they're something that we've gotten away from. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I do believe it's the, it's the reverence of God in this uh -huh. and it's, uh, uh, it's, it's basically just the anointing and, and walking yeah. in the spirit. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think, too, that uh, the Bible talks about being persecuted for righteousness. Sake. Uh -huh. and, 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 and that's the difference from what a lot of we talk about, referring back to the video. And I heard someone say that Jesus could have done anything. Yeah, but he subjected himself to do yeah. only what his father had told him to do. So really, yeah. I guess he could have done anything, but then that would he would have ceased being who he was had he because he had already conformed himself to to whatever his father said so he was only doing whatever his father so he was working within guidelines or guardrails if you will exactly um, Come on. and uh, and just to refer back to the video just a tad i would say to this in that um first of all we we have to teach that look don't be riding Smoking in the car. On, Don't man. be riding, driving. Yeah, nah. you, know, Boy, nah. you know, you you know, you got a, you know, you got a felony that involved a weapon. You know, you're not supposed to be around weapons. Don't be riding in cars. You know, you got people with weapons. Come I mean, on, I mean, I mean, don't holler Jesus, and you done done everything stupid. I mean, on, I mean, man. and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's still not gonna be there for you, and he's still not your God. But I mean, come on now. I mean, what do you expect if you're doing everything wrong? I mean, I mean, that's what the law is for. That's why they're there yeah. is to protect other people as well, not just you. Right. So, I mean, you know, we also have to teach, look, yeah, you got to be respectful and you got to, you know, respect authority, but at the same time, don't be riding around here. You know, guy got a pound of weed in the car. Don't get in the car with him. Amen. Maybe somebody in the car tomorrow, they finish five or blunt and you riding with them, tell them to put you out. You know, you got a felony on your record. You need to pull out weapons, tell them you're not going. I mean, you know, the guys getting ready to go rob or something, tell them you're not in. Yeah. I mean, we also got to teach those kind of things because yes. don't put yourselves in those positions, you know. Exactly. exactly. Yeah.